Hi everyone, today in Parsi Spice Box, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple green curry packed with coriander flavor. Now the beauty of this dish is in the simplicity and the ease to make it. And if you are a fan of Thai green curry, please note that this does not taste like the Thai version, but it is a 100% Parsi style dish. The green curry that I'm going to be making today uses almost the same ingredients as chutney along with a few spices and tastes great with fish. So here we have some coriander leaves, some chilies, onions, potatoes, fish, grated coconut, wheat flour, tomatoes, red chilli powder, some turmeric, garlic, curry powder, cumin seeds, white sesame seeds and some salt. So the first step to make the curry paste, I'm going to put some coconut, that's half a grated coconut. And the garlic, finely chopped garlic. With this, I'm going to add some little water. grind them to a fine paste. Now to this I'm going to add some raw spices, half a teaspoon of each. I'm going to add some turmeric, half a teaspoon of this, a teaspoon of curry powder, a little bit of chilli, cumin seeds, some white sesame seeds and some green chilli the coriander leaves. To this I'm going to add some water and then I'm going to grind this to a smooth paste. And I'm going to add the tomatoes. So this is how my green curry paste looks like. So now in a heavy bottom pan, I'm going to add some oil and heat it. My oil is hot and I'm going to add some 2-3 to three tablespoons of wheat flour to this. Mix this up well. So I'm going to fry this till we get the breadcrumb like consistency. Now to this I'm going to add the green curry paste. So we continue to cook this till the masala leaves the side of the pan. Now I'm going to add 2 to 3 cups of water. We stir it well, give it a nice stir. Now we add the potatoes to this. And we let it cook for some time. I'm going to let this cook for some time. Now next we prepare the fish for the curry. I start by slicing the fish into two. Now I'm going to marinate my fish with some ginger garlic paste and some salt.
Now I'm going to leave this aside for 15-20 minutes till the masala sets in. Now my potatoes are half cooked. I'm going to gently add the fish pieces to it. Then give it a gentle stir. To this, I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to cover this and let this cook for about 10 to 15 minutes till the fish is cooked. Now my green curry is done. It looks cooked. You can serve and enjoy this curry with some steamed rice and some fresh tangy kachumbar. This yummy green curry is very versatile and also tastes great with mutton or prawns or even just with potatoes and peas as a vegetarian option. You can have this for lunch or dinner at any time during the week and especially when you're wondering what to cook. I hope you give this green fish curry a try. Mm.